what are you guys' thoughts on uh, Clemson football? Um, I know that uh, DJ did not uh, exactly um, – He did not exactly uh, do do what 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 we thought he would do. Um, so so, what are your guys' thoughts on the rest of the season? Uh, what are your guys' thoughts on uh, whether he will um, continue to progress? Uh, what what's your thoughts? I, I think he'll continue to get better. I, I think he'll improve on, on that. It's just, it's how much okay. really that's, that's really the question. I mean, cause he, I mean, he, he improved last season. Um, he got better as, you know, not, not a whole lot better, but he, you know, he managed the offense better towards the end of the year than he was definitely, uh, you know, in the first half of the year. Right. Um, but so it, it, it's really just about that. I mean, obviously he only had he had the one turnover early in the game, but all but other than that, he took care of the ball. He, you know, when when there was nothing there, he threw the ball away. When you know, at, at times last year, he definitely would have forced that into coverage, um, or, or or you know, you know, fumbled or, or something. But um, it's I, I think it's a, it's going to be a week by week thing. It, it seems like it, it's I think DJ is uh, is going to be the, the the starter, you know, for for the foreseeable future. Um, but you know, it's, it, it's going to be, a it, it's when, whenever Dabo feels like it's not, you know, it, it's not working. He, it's, I, th I think he's going to pull the trigger, but you know, it's a, I, I think that this, this offense is still feeling itself out. So I, it, it's really just, it, it's hard to even say, um, what the, what the projected, you know, you know, outlook for this, uh, this unit is, uh, cause I, I really, I really don't know. Uh, I, I mean, I, it, there's a lot to improve on and I'm sure they will, but you know, how, how much do they improve is, is going to be the difference in Clemson being a, a good, you know, good team. That's, you know, going to be you know, the front runner to win the ACC versus a, right. a college football playoff contender. Cause the absolutely. defense, is, the defense is absolutely national championship level. Some, there's some stuff to clean up, but, um, it's absolutely national championship level. Um, and I, I put, I put it up there with, with just about anybody's, but, um, yeah. Really and, 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 and that's the thing is, uh, it's, uh, like the defense is absolutely, uh, national championship level and we'll see what, what happens, uh, as far as what, what goes on. Um, for the rest of the season. So, other two guys here in the chat, uh, what do you guys think? I definitely think um, it's hard to tell exactly how well DJ would have played when uh, there were at least plays when he started to play with defensive linemen in his face because of the freshman offensive linemen couldn't um, block. So that's definitely a spot that needs to be um, addressed immediately. Uh, he probably, I mean, honestly, freshman tackle, first game jitter. Um, maybe, maybe when he tosses around those small guys from Furman and Louisiana Tech, he'll build his confidence a little bit, and it won't be an issue. Um, and. Everyone's got to quit to call K Klubnik out to come and call Dabo out for, you know, not sitting DJ, but I think it's definitely too early. Um, the one thing he doesn't have is the experience that DJ has. Um, we saw, we've definitely seen what DJ can do. Uh, the games where he played for Trevor Lawrence were uncanny, um, made me really um, excited for the future. But that same DJ hasn't showed up yet, so we just gotta we gotta hope Dabo pull that out of him, you know. Um, and like I said earlier, I think it's all about getting him comfortable. Um, 
because you know when you're doubting yourself, uh, when you're getting hit all the time, it's very hard to build that confidence, especially after a year like you had last year. So uh, I think just like the freshman tackle, I think going through these cupcakes these next couple weeks hopefully can help build that confidence in DJ and we just get a totally different player the rest of the season. Um, and if not, we'll definitely see enough out of Kate Klubnik that hopefully if need be, Dabo won't be afraid to pull that trigger like he did um, for Kelly Bryant when Trevor Lawrence was waiting. So, Well, my thing is got the block on that right side. I mean, we, it, <laughs> I know everybody says get him comfortable, but my issue is if you're looking at what's going on in college football, the way the defense are, sh are shining, if you're looking for deep bombs and stuff like that, it's not going to happen. You got to get your, you got to get you office line got to do a better job of blocking and get those teams out of cover too. And I know people say, well, Will Shipley didn't get a chance to play a lot tonight, but also we remember we only got four eligible offensive linemen. I mean, uh, running backs. We don't want to burn these guys out too fast, and that's why I think you saw a lot of rotation with the running backs. Cause um, I think we only have four. Yeah. Yeah, I think Adams. I don't know. Well, Adams, did man. we? I think we gave Dominique Thomas uh, the scholar. I think we gave him a scholarship, but other than that, uh, yeah. I might be wrong about that. But I might have heard. I might have heard wrong. But other, but it's it's really it, it's Shipley. I mean, it's Shipley, Pace, and Moffa, and then obviously Adams is a true freshman, and right. so it's it's not a very um, deep deep room as far as numbers is concerned. So right. So I think that's something that we all got to look at, but. I mean, I, 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 I think I just think he played well today. I mean, the first first game of the year, you heard all this talk. I mean, the guy obviously, everybody been talking about the personal life that he's been going through with his parents and all this other stuff. So sometimes, you know, <laughs> you get off to a slow start, but it picked up. But like you said, they got to help him out too. Everybody sitting in this cover two or cover three alignment. Hey, get a quick pass out there to Antonio Williams. Everybody been talking about him all camp. Get him out there. So and play. So yeah, he, uh, he when he touched the ball, it, it was just like, wow, yeah. this, is what, this is what we were missing last year. Um, yeah, and yeah. That's, that's what you want to. Get them out of that cover two, cover three, then you open it up. Because when he did throw the bow collars and they decided to, I, I don't know what's going on with E.J. Williams and um, the Gata. These guys, I mean, I mean, maybe because of the cover two and the cover three, but I tell you what, I see State play up close and personal. Over there to the ECU game, if they cannot block Georgia Tech's defense alignment, they're gonna have a heck of a time with with uh with uh with with, with uh NC State. NC State. Man, I mean, I'm not worried about these next three games. The way Forest isn't that good. Um, and I talk about because um, the quarterback's gone, but they just never get Clemson any problem because Clemson speed. But if you want to really look at a game that's going to tell us everything we're going to know, it's going to be the ANC State game. And yeah. East Carolina gets a lot of transfers and a lot of uh, junior college players, so they, they're more mature. That's why EC was able to hang with them, and I took the, 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 the 12 points to EC. I'm telling you right now, I looked at that game, me and Craven talked about it last year. Yep. And I blocked NC State's uh, three-man line. And, and if that, that, that tackle don't get it right, I don't care if he had Deshaun Watson back there, quarterback, at his best, he ain't going to get away with it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, that offensive line got to block somebody. Yeah, it's it, it's got it's got to be better. Um I, I obviously uh, Jordan McFadden. I, I thought he had a good game. I, he held up really well. But I mean, he's he's all yeah. reliable. He's been in the program a long time, and he's just he's played real well too. Yeah, 